Thomas and the goddamn snow. It had been snowing on Sodor, much heavier than usual. The engines had to take great care, as the rails were icy, the tracks were buried six feet under. The passengers did not like that at all. Wear protection! Fuck you, said James. It's not fair, said Thomas. The passengers should appreciate that we're running through this crazy weather. How ungrateful twats, added Toby. Serves them right for treating us like this, sputtered Gordon. Well, I think the snow is nice, said Philip. People are always excited when I make an appearance nowadays. That's because people think you're a diesel rail car, Philip, grumbled Gordon. Why, yes, I do like the attention, said Philip. Thomas hated the snow most of all. The passengers would always act like fucking humbugs as he pulled into the station, and because the trains were packed, they were not really running to their normal schedules. Damn it, damn it, said Annie and Clarabel together, as their doors finally slammed shut of relief. During the journey, the passengers were furious and would say, I will be damned late for my meeting! Guaranteed connection, my ass, shouted one. This would never happen in Galaxy Railways, said another. Thomas was glad when they reached the final station. On his way back, he thought he would teach the passengers a lesson. He thought about getting stuck in the snowdrift, but then remembered he had already done that one. Not really, but if his idol Danny DeVito had taught him anything, is that he should be the trash man, come out and throw trash, but also that no one likes Sharon Miller. Oh, I know. That will show them. As he came closer to the first station, instead of slowing down, Thomas picked up speed and was skidding across the line, much like his brother did all those years ago. Thomas, stop! You'll kill us all! shouted the driver. Piss off! tooted Thomas. The driver tried to apply the brakes, but it was no use. Thomas was skidding. Sparks showered from the rails. The noise echoed over 9,000 miles away. The passengers on the platform held their ears. What the hell? No, no, no. Out of the passengers as they covered their ears in sheer annoyance and pure fucking rage. At last, Thomas stopped 500 miles outside the station. I'll teach you tossers a lesson. Now you've done it, you asshole. Your brakes are broken and the 500 miles of rails will have to be replaced. You utter shithead! You should be ashamed of yourself! Thomas was pleased. It was not long until the fastest vehicle on land came to take the passengers to the next station. Tractor shit! shouted Thomas. Later that day, Sir Thomas came to the sheds to rant, rage, and fucking shout at Thomas. Thomas did not mind, as he heard it well way too many times, but Thomas knew the true reason that Sir Thomas was angry was because Lady Hat was having an affair with Duck's guard. Thomas closed his eyes, as he felt the snowflakes fall through the shed roof. He was soon fast asleep, knowing that he was sure to be punished for his actions. At a later time, at least now, he had some non-busy days on his branch line to look forward to at the steamworks. Thomas knew the true reason that Sir Thomas was angry was because Lady Hat was having an affair with James's driver.